Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here for January 1945. Can you believe it? It is 1945 in this game. And Germany. This is what $106 looks like. Three medium bombers, three marines, one fighter, a destroyer and a sub, paying off the damage to the shipyard in uh, Normandy, France. Two destroyers to go at that shipyard plus a transport. And another tactical bomber for the Italians. No need to do the tech roll uh, this turn because it really doesn't matter. We could start something, but we won't be able to finish it because there's only two turns left in the game. So combat moves... Um, let's see. Strategic bomber is going to go one, two and hit this factory. And in the sneaky, sneaky category, uh, one of those tanks is going to blitz into a Russian territory. And I'll explain why they're doing that. Um, so, um, one of these tanks is going to go into here. So, we'll chip that out for uh, these lovely medium tank sculpts. And we'll put a German marker there, like that. reason why I'm doing that is to force the Russians to either pull units out of here to attack this or let the Japanese come in here with several of their units and be able to stage right next to Novosibirsk for an attack next turn. Uh, if I hadn't done that, then the, what the Russians could have done is put militia here, here, and here and block the Japanese from getting in uh, by the end of the game effectively. So uh, one single tank into here will take care of that. So I'm not going to hit Novosibirsk uh, in force this turn because I'm going to move more German stuff up and also be able to have the Japanese move stuff up so that we can both hit it on the last turn. Okay, so... Over here, we are going for Sea Lion, but we are not going for London. We're going to go for Liverpool first, which is a Manchester United fan I love. Taking out Liverpool here. So, by the way, I checked this out. Do you see the badge? Um, so I've already got these, basically all this stuff... He's going to go into here, including the transports. I just got the transports out here to make room. So what I'm going to do, I'm in, in the sneaky, sneaky category again, we're going to do a strategic bombing raid on this airbase, and we're going to do that first uh, so that they won't be, if we hit it for any damage, they won't be able to scramble those fighters in to the battle in C-Zone 25. So I'm going to move all this stuff to the battle board, and then I'm going to show you the German stuff that will come in. Okay, so obviously all seven transports are coming into here, but they are unloading into Liverpool, not into London. And they are going to bring with them, they are going to bring uh, three Marines, like that. And two regular infantry. The Marines came from here. The regular infantry came from here. And then they're going to get one. Two. More regular infantry. For a total of seven infantry, three marines. And then from th uh, this card right here, 
they're also going to pick up um, seven medium tanks into Liverpool. Next turn, I'll use these transports to go get more Marines, advanced artillery, and more tanks and advanced mechs as well to join these in the battle for London. Okay, but first things first, we're going to take three strategic bombers to hit the airbase. Like that, along with this fighter, like that. I think we only need to take one fighter in because they can only do one damage to me with that fighter. Um, that leaves this tactical, this fighter, this fighter. Plus all these units here, uh, ex uh, yeah, all these units here will go in. This sub will go one, two, and he will go in. These two subs will go one, two. One, two, they will go in as well. And I believe that's literally everything I can get into that battle. So I'll go put all this stuff on the battle board. We'll come back and we'll do this one first. Okay, Great Britain will not send this fighter up against that force. Because A, there's no point. Uh, the Germans will certainly sacrifice their own fighter if the Great Britain fighter does hit. And B... Uh, this fighter is hoping for a miracle that this airbase won't be taken out. So the airbase gets three shots against the strategic bombers. They're looking for three hits of three or less. And they got one hit. But that's they needed three. So we'll take this chip out. And these two bombers will do 46 of damage total. So all they need is one damage. And it, there will be no scramble. So that's maximum of five damage to that airbase. And there can be no scramble now into season 25. Okay, and I have the battle set up over here, so let's go see what that looks like. Here's the battle of C-Zone 25. Um, Germans definitely have the advantage, probably quality-wise and numerically, but crazy things have happened in this game, including a... Uh, light cruiser that I'll get to make an anti-aircraft roll here to start. So let me grab my dice and I'll be back. Okay, British light cruiser. Three dice. One hit. So, Germans will lose a plane. Uh, Germans have... That light carrier doesn't shoot at two. They have five subs at three or less. There's one hit. One destroyer at four or less. Another hit. Light cruiser at five or less. Misses. A uh, fighter and a regular cruiser at six or less. Oh my goodness, they both miss. Tactical at seven or less. Hits. Battle cruiser at seven or less hits. Two battleships at eight or less. 
they both hit. So Brits will lose, definitely lose that. They will also definitely damage their battleship for two. And then they will lose three, four, five, six, like that. Okay. So the Brits shoot back. Light carrier at one. Misses. Corvette at two. Misses. Sub at three. Hits. Destroyer at four. Hits. Light cruiser at five. Misses. Heavy cruiser at six. Hits. Battle cruiser at seven, misses. Destroyer at eight, hits. Or sorry, battleship at eight, hits. So let me move him down like that. We wipe all these out. And then we got to take four hits. So. I think we will take four subs. I want to keep that light carrier, and I've got a reason for that. Because uh, I want to be able to land a plane on there. Okay. Second round of combat. Submarine at three. Misses. Destroyer at four. Misses. Light cruiser at five. Misses. Fighter and a cruiser at six. Oh my gosh, both miss. Oh, tactical at seven. Target select, hit. Battle cruiser at seven. Regular hit. We just need one more hit. Two battleships at eight. They both hit. So the target select does not matter. Regular cruiser at six, misses. Battle cruiser at seven, that's a target select. Regular battleship damaged at seven, that's also a regular hit. So for the regular hit, the Germans will choose the sub. For the target select, Um, it doesn't honestly matter, but it's naval target select, so we will damage a battleship. Okay, let me move all that back to the board. And then I'm going to go ahead and move... Let's see, I'm gonna put these Marines back on the board here like that. I'm gonna clear all these guys out, put that down, and then move all these transports to that fleet card. And that is also where I am gonna put all my survivors in the German Navy from that battle against the Commonwealth. Let me do that and I'll be back and we'll do this battle. Okay, there's the aftermath on this fleet card it is that German Navy. So now we'd have the amphibious invasion here. So here's the thing. They only have a militia and a regular infantry. So I'm going to roll this off screen. So... We've got seven Marines coming ashore at two or less. And there's two hits. So that's the two hits we needed. Uh, militia shoots back at two. He misses. Infantry shoots back at four. He misses. So... So 
those two are gone. Liverpool has been taken with no casualties. And let me get some chips. Okay, so with the chips, we've got four regular infantry, three marines, and seven tanks. And let's go do the income. So that's Germany up to 90. That's Great Britain down to 13. How about that? Okay, let's go do... Um, let's see. Let's go do this. So all we're doing here in combat move is a raid on this factory. The factory will get one AA shot at three, and I realize I've been doing something wrong. I think I've been eliminating planes automatically with AA shots. I'm not sure that's the rule in Global 36. I think in this case, even if the bomber um, gets shot down, I think he still gets to roll for damage. But I haven't been playing it that way, so I'm not going to change now. So let's see what happens. And, of course, he gets shot down. So, he is dead. I'm not going to change the way I've been playing. Because that wouldn't be fair to the other players. So, there we go. Okay, non-combat moves. Let's start over here. Uh, these two guys are going to move up here. This guy is going to move into here. Um, we're going to rail move two of these tanks up to here. Like that. Okay. Um, over here. It doesn't matter, so I'm just going to leave a lot of these guys where they are. Um, just for fun, this guy is going to go one, two, down to there. Um, let's see. This guy's going to go to here to serve as an emergency blocker. Um, this air transport is going to go one, two, three. Now, hang on. Uh, never mind. He'll go one, two, three to here. Pick up an infantry unit and then go one, two, three back into here. And let me chip him out for a German infantry. There we go. Those air German air transports have been handy at the end of the game. Um, Really, a lot of the other this other stuff here doesn't matter, but let's just be defensive. Now let's go down to Greece. Let's go down to Greece with him as well. Um, a couple of important moves up here. Uh, this tank and these two advanced mechs will rail move into Western Germany from Paris. Like that. <clears throat> and this guy. Uh, it's too bad those guys can't. Let 
Yeah, I really need to get a marine down here. One of these marines down to here. Um, yeah, that'll work. So I need to chip this guy out for two chips. And then push rail move another of those, another, uh, that fourth marine unit down to Normandy. So the chipping out is here. So that leaves three. The other marine rail moves down here to Normandy. Like that. You'll see next turn why that was important. Uh, last but not least, this guy will go one, two, three to right there. And I think that's it for Germany. Okay. So let's place units now. Uh, let's see, that would be a decent view for placing units. Oh, actually, I forgot. These guys all have to go back. So, one, two, three. Uh, this guy will go, he's got three left. So, he'll just land back here in Normandy also. These two guys will have four left, <clears throat> so they'll just land back in Western Germany. Or Munich. You know, they'll land in Munich. That will give us the option of maybe using those in North Africa next turn for carpet bombing. Okay. Uh, this guy will, he has four left. He could go, he'll land back here in Western Germany also. Um, Okay, that's it for non-combat movement. Now we place units. So first of all, fortunately I don't have a, uh, a flight stand, but this guy will go here. He'll get delivered there in turn. That's a tactical bomber for Italy. And then... Told you I got a sneaky plan here. So I'm going to put a transport here, supported by two destroyers here. There's a Marine here. There's a normal infantry here. I've got a fighter here. I've got an escort carrier here. So guess what? We are going to the sunny beaches of Portugal next turn. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. That's why I paid off the damage at that French ship, at ex French shipyard. Okay, so um, I've got three more Marines to place in Western Germany. That gives me six Marines and an six Marines in Western Germany. Plus, I can pick up, ay, ay, ay. I am so gluing my infantry units to these marine ships for my next game. So next turn, my seven transports can pick up six marines and this guy. These two guys will go to Portugal. Those seven marines will go into London along with four advanced artillery, two advanced mechs, and another medium tank. Right there. So that'll be fun. And then supporting them 
will be uh, three medium bombers. So I built three Marines here, right? So I'll build these three medium bombers in Berlin. They'll all be able to get to London as well. And I bought those because they attack at seven. They don't have target select. They cost the same as a tactical, but they also give me the flexibility to do strategic bombing if I need to. Uh, they would also attack ships. So just in case I hadn't taken out the uh, UK Navy, those would have been able to attack the ships. I will build a destroyer. Actually, you know what? Uh, since there's no one who can get me, I might as well build this destroyer down here along with this sub. Like that. Tell you what, if Germany had one more turn, two more turns in this game instead of just one more turn, they could be looking at Eastern United States for sure. Um, last but not least, I got one more fighter. And... Actually, I think we'll build this down in Romania, which you can't see. Or should I build them here in Oral Kursk? Or in Moscow? One, two, three, four. Let's build them in Moscow. Like that. Which you really couldn't see. Yep, he's built in Moscow, that minor factory. Okay, let's see what the damage is here in terms of uh, money. So Germany's sitting on $90 of base income. They get 2d6. They get $7 in wartime economy, so that's 97 Plus Vici money gets them to 100 Plus, Sweden 103, Narvik 104, Spain 105, Romania 108, 108 dollars for Germany, which honestly doesn't matter. 50, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, anything they buy next turn they can't use because it's the last turn. I guess they could theoretically fortify some things. So yeah, pretty impressive haul for uh, Germany. This is Admiral Seabass signing off for Germany, January 1945.